Okay, so welcome back. Let's upgrade this uh, FK's X, X, FK tail to become an IK or a mix of an IK. So I'm gonna duplicate my FK chain and get it out of the hierarchy. And then I'm gonna select all these joints, just scale them up a little bit in the radius so we can see what's going on. And because we want to have some, we wanna have some, when we create our, our spline, the first thing we're gonna do here is rename the tail. So if I go, uh, JNT, yeah, JN, JNT, and IK underscore JNT. Is that a capital? Sorry, I can't see that. So let's try again. Underscore JNT. There we go. And then let's delete the first part here. <coughs> so now I'm gonna. Shrink this one in. I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. I'm gonna take all these joints and I'm gonna make them massive again because we wanna have like our driver joints now. So I want the first one and I want I want this one and I want this one. So basically all the joints where my controllers are staying on top. And I shift P to unparent those and then I delete everything underneath them except for the last one because I want the end joint in this duplicate chain as well. Then I delete everything in between. So now I have my IK chain here, and then I have four joints here that are gonna be my driver joints. So I'm gonna say modify, search and replace. I'm gonna call them IK driver. So instead of IK, we call them IK driver. So now we have something to drive our IK chain with. Next thing is that we wanna scale these up a little bit more. I wanna make sure that everything is clean and I'm gonna take these, make them a little bit bigger. So now what we have is an FK chain underneath here, and then we have the IK chain, and then we have the drivers of the IK chain. And I had a question from uh, someone who wrote to me and asked like, why am, I, why am I using FK for the joint chains? And it, technically I could just use uh, groups or whatever, but I like it because it's visual representing me where my joints are and I can see where they're bending. I could have used, I could have used anything. I could have used like locators or anything. It's just for me, it's personally a preference to use FKs. Also, if I weren't, if I didn't have time to upgrade my FK chain to become an IK chain, I could still skin to my FK joints. But in this case where I'm upgrading, you could technically use for these FKs because we're not going to skin to these, but you could technically just use locators or whatever. But I would always suggest that you use joints for building something that's this mechanical. That's my personal preference. There's not. Uh, there's not any rules so moving on now i have my ik chain here and i'm gonna say skeleton and i'm gonna say ik handle tool and i want to oh sorry we need the ik spline tool and i'm just gonna give it like a really high um number of spans because we have a lot of joints so we that means that we can get a really smooth curve so let's hit there uh, so i hit the first and the last and i'm gonna say m tail ik and it's spring so let's go so it's a it's a spline so i'm going to call it iks and with the curve i'm going to call it crv as usual and the curve is going to be skinned to these driver joints right because we know by now that the curve is what's driving our joints are basically attached our ik joints are attached to this curve and that curve should be driven by these joints so if i select the four joints and select my curve say skin Go into the options, make sure we're on selected joints. And now I have this control, which is, which is great. So the next thing we want to do is create a controller for each of these four guys. And I'm going to go and in order for the controllers not to be too cluttered, like in the rest of the rig here, uh, as I've been saying before, we are definitely gonna redo some shapes but in this case I'm just gonna select this well let's select this FK controller here just let's take the last one so we get the last in the hierarchy unparent unparented from it from the hierarchy and oh I can see this always called IK driven which we actually don't want so let's quickly get that out so if we just select the old other FK controllers that we had here so I can see they're all we call IK driver and we actually want to remove that. So let's say IK and 
remove that with just FK. There we go. So now these yellow ones are actually FK controllers. It's because we duplicated the IK controller from our spine, and now we renamed that to be FK controllers. So that's great. Uh, so the next thing I did here was uh, duplicate out. I can see I only got my modifier, so that's okay. I'm just gonna go in here and take the orange instead. And now we can just go in, and then we actually wanna this one we wanna this one we do wanna call driver, right? So if I say it's an IK driver, so we're actually just gonna switch these two around. So remove FK, make that into an IK driver. And since this is not gonna be the C, I'm gonna duplicate it, move this one up here, just for now. So we have a placeholder. Then we're gonna use this one for the end joint. So I'm gonna snap that out here. I'm gonna select that joint and Alt H. Take the orange groove of this controller. Make sure it snaps to the middle of the controller. And it's not gonna be called C. We're gonna call this end. So we're gonna call it A J C A J end. Brilliant. And it's Control Shift or Control Shift and H again to get back. <coughs> so because we're gonna have quite a lot of FKs, I'm quickly gonna change the shape of this node. And even though I've been saying that we're gonna block out our shapes, I think if we have too many of these, it's gonna be too confusing. So I'm just gonna create a regular NURB circle. And as before, I'm gonna take the shape of that NURB circle. So if I select the shape, select the controller here, and right in the mail tab here, IK, sorry, parent, relatives, parent shape, so minus R, minus S. You can see here, that that little circle came in there. So if I hit F8 and just go in and scale it up, let's try and see if we can get that by default here. There we go. Since I'm only making the shape, I can basically manipulate the shape as I want, and this should be good. And then I can delete this original shape from here. I'm not really too bothered with the naming because we, our animators will never select the shape; they'll only select the controller. So. Like so. And then I'm gonna color this shape green. And actually that's the we we did take this one and duplicate it up here, but now we kinda manipulated this one to work for us better. So the next thing I'm gonna do is duplicate this one. And I'm gonna say modify search and replace name, and then we're gonna say instead of AJA, -A, we're gonna call that AJC. I'm going to duplicate it one more time, AJ C to B, and if we select this C again, duplicate it one more time, remove C with A. So now we have an A, B, C, and an end driver. And we got this empty group from our NURB circle, we can just delete that. So I'm selecting all the controller orient groups, and I'm selecting all the driver joints, and then I'm going to go isolate. So I'm going to take the A and snap that to the driver joint here, take the B, snap it to the driver, and C, snap it here. And then I'm going to select the controller, so if I go into the hierarchy here, I'm selecting controller, select the joint, say constrain, pan constrain it. Same thing for the next, so if I select the controller, say like the joint, and press G, it's repeating the process. You don't need to go into the menus all the time. And now we basically have all our driver driven joints connected as well so if I say on isolate that so I can see the first joint I can't or the first controller I can't actually see which is really annoying so let's try and just manipulate this so I hit F8 to go into component mode and you can see I'm just scaling that up and I'm just gonna move that out a little bit so we have a chance of seeing both of our controllers and let's just try and make these guys it a little bit better. So now you can see, as before, we had a hierarchy of IKs underneath our hierarchy of so FKs. And the next thing we're going to do now is just uh, let's remove these ones because they're duplicated groups, twos here. 
and we're going to parent this back into our FK hierarchy. So just like before, we want to make sure that the root of the I case are being controlled by the FK. So I'm going to take the orient group of the IK controller and parent it underneath the controller of the FK. So when I move the FK around, that IK is moving with me. And you can see here that FK FK joint chain is not following along, so we want to fix that in a second. And then the next thing we do here is take the IK circle here. It's orient is that take that orient group, so we only have the orient group selected. And make sure that you I, I'm selecting the I, I'm selecting the IK controller here. Uh, but I'm not holding anything down. I'm not also selecting the orient group. I'm just selecting the orient group afterwards. The reason why I selected the viewport is just so I can find the orient group faster. So here, when I select this one in the in the viewport, I go in here and then I select this one instead, and then I parent that underneath the FK controller. So you can see what can go wrong if I select if I select the controller and the orient group and I select my controller and I hit shift P or oh sorry P you can see it's actually breaking my hierarchy so now my IK controller is no longer underneath my orient group so we don't want to do that we want to make sure that we only select the orient group here parent underneath under the controller here and then because we have the last we have the last part of the IK IK tail we're going to parent that orient group underneath the last FK as well so now when I move my end FK around, oh yeah, so you can see like the mistake here that I'm doing is that we shouldn't actually parent this controller underneath the FK controller because the FK controller is rotating this hierarchy. So the we actually want to parent constrain this FK, oh sorry, IK controller to the last part of this chain. So let's go back. It's fine that this controller is in the hierarchy, but we want to manipulate the orient group to follow the FK chain, right? So if we go in and we select that FK chain, see if we can grab it here let's get closer so take that fk chain and I select that end joint and then I select my controller to figure out where it is in the hierarchy as soon as I know where it is I deselect it and then I select the orient group so I make sure that my orient group is the last selection I have and I say constraint parent constraint and now if I rotate my IK controller I'm getting that con I'm getting that movement into my oh, I'm rotating my FK controller I get that movement into my IK controller so now we have a an IK chain actually working together with our with our FK tail. Like so. And then as soon as I'm done manipulating that, I can go in here, rotate this more, maybe move this one out. You know, there's, uh, there's space for a lot of tweaking here. So the last thing we quickly want to do, and you guys already probably have guessed that, is that we need to just quickly set up uh, the up vector for our IK chain. So if I select my my IK tail here, so the first thing we want to do is just get two locators that we can use as up vectors. And since we already have that, we're just going to du duplicate these from the spine. So I don't need to rename too much. I'm just selecting those. Modify, search and replace name. Let's call that replace spine with tail. Not tail, but tail. Awesome. Delete these ones. And then just move that over here. And the next thing we're going to do is just isolate the start and the end. So if we select the start and the end joints, and just make sure that these two up vectors, or these two locators that are going to be serving as our up vectors, are directly on top of that because our chain is completely flat we can just move that up in y-axis because we know that that's going to give us a 90 degree angle and that's going to be fine for aiming for and then next thing we know is that we need to get the name for this one so oh they're actually opposite so i'm just going to move the a over here and the b over here move them up again and i'm going to take the a name here and then we're going to get out of isolate and once we're out of isolate, we select our IK tail and we go into the solver. And we take advanced twist controls, we enable it, and we say we want object start up, uh, object up start end. And we got the A here, and we can put in the B here. Let's say, I think that's what we call that. 
Fantastic. And then the last thing we need to do is parent these two guys underneath each of the IK controllers. So I'm taking that locator and parent it underneath this controller. So you can see now it knows where to now it knows where to rotate as well. Brilliant. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this. Put that underneath the IK controller here, so the green circle. And once I rotate the green circle, you can see my chain is rotating with it. Excellent. And last but not least, take everything here. We can group this and then just call that tail IK and drop that underneath the tail group. Let's close this spine group here and hit save. And that's actually it for um, creating the last module for our character. Uh, at least it'll be, there's a few upgrades that we still want to do, but for the bigger parts, this is uh, this is it. And this, we're going to have a lecture where we're going to do a clavicle. But for now, we could actually just give our animators what we have. Uh, and as I talked about before, you just want to give them exactly what they can do to start blocking. So if you were in a hurry, you would probably just start cleaning up your stuff. But let's get a clavicle in there before we go so far. So what we want to do is basically create a joint down here and up here and make sure there's a rotation pivot somewhere. And then we can give it an extra joint to control the scapula so we can get that extra movement in there. Uh, but that's it for the for the tail and uh, if you've made it this far very very nice remember to link me uh, anything you're making I always get uh, super happy when I see people uh, using the stuff that I'm trying to teach you guys so uh, yeah I'll see you in the next lecture